Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Peak Across the Creek webinar uh, for fifth grade families. We are excited that you are joining us here today. And we are going to introduce ourselves to start off. So my name is Ashley Pennypacker Hill, and I am our Director of Elementary Programs. I'm going to pass it over to Ms. Montgomery. And I'm Sarah Montgomery, and I'm the sixth grade team leader. And we also have with us Miss Emily Eubanks. She is our fabulous communications director, and she is helping us with the webinar from behind the scenes. So you'll see her, her little Zoom face there, and I wanted to make sure that you knew that she was with us too. Um, this is our Peak Across the Creek team here, um, helping your student transition, and you actually, transition from elementary to secondary. You can see we've got uh, me and Mr. Stevenson, our school counselor, Ms. Montgomery, who's with us today, the sixth grade team leader, Ms. Devin Bogart, she's our middle school counselor, and Ms. Eubank. So that's gonna be your main team for Peak Across the Creek. You can see below, these are our other administrators here at our school that you could also talk to if you have questions about Peak Across the Creek. All right, so something that we're going to start with before we get into the details about Peak Across the Creek is just a little bit about PK Young and how we're organized. So this is what we like to call our PKY, and yes, there's a play on words there with Y, but this is our why on why we do everything that we do at PK. So you can see it's made up of three different sections. One of the first sections is that we focus on mastery of standards. I mean, that's why we're here at school is to learn and to master the Florida standards. And our teachers are helping us learn all of that. Um, and so when we're tracking our mastery of those standards with our report cards and how we communicate progress to you all. Um, so that's one of the reasons we are here today. And then this other portion of our PKY, we like to focus on citizenship. And you can see it says this we over me. So not only are we focusing on mastering content and standards, but also how you engage with others. It's, a, it's another big focus for us here at PK Young. And then you can see down at the bottom, we also want to make sure we're paying attention to how we help students know what's coming next for them. And so our goal is that each student has a personalized educational plan. Um, and sometimes that plan looks all the way out to senior year. Um, sometimes it just looks all the way out to what's happening next hour. Um, and just making sure that we are future focused and helping our students know what's coming next. All right, so speaking of what's coming next, um, if you haven't noticed, our school is uh, separated by this amazing creek and it runs right through the middle of our elementary campus and our secondary campus. And so um, for decades, and we're trying to figure out when the very first peak across the creek happened, but we can't necessarily nail down the very first one, um, but we do know it's been decades. So there's been this tradition of our fifth graders peaking across the creek, um, to end their elementary school career and take a peek over into secondary, which is where they're going to go. And so this helps them see what the next chapter of their lives will be as sixth graders, um, as secondary students, and they have a lot to learn about going to middle school. Um, this time of transition uh, is a big one. And there are a lot of things to know and learn about both as students and as families um, in order to feel prepared for the transition from elementary to middle. So we have developed this Peak Across the Creek series for both students and families. And then there'll be this culmination at the, at the end. Um, and we hope that this is gonna help you know what's coming next. And it's kind of that bottom of the why, um, making a plan for what's coming next. Right. So, um, wait, go back. Go back. Okay. Okay. So, um, thinking of things like this, um, expectations for middle school students, it changes a lot when you move into middle school and, and Ashley and I both actually have sixth graders this year. Um, and it's, it, it's a big change. <laughs> 
as we both as parents experienced um, this year. So some of the things like to expect, um, you know, there's a lot of, of um, uh, self-advocacy that students are going to have to be doing. There's a lot of, of just time management things that change for kids when you have so many different teachers that have different expectations. Um, and it's a big, it's a big change for kids, but there are also so many different opportunities that they have that they didn't have before, including taking a bunch of new classes um, that they're interested in and including different clubs and things that weren't available in elementary school. So although there's a lot of uh, new expectations, there's also a lot of a lot of new opportunities that that kids are really excited about. And um, like we said, it's a it's a big transition, but it's one that the kids are really excited about. And it's one that we as middle school teachers are also really excited about inviting the kids up to see. Yeah. All right. So this is a bit of an overview of what the students are going to experience. So speaking of inviting the kids up to see them, um, yeah. in January and February, um, during their Wheel Wednesdays, um, the fourth and fifth graders are going to get to come up and just kind of be a fly on the wall for several visits, just to experience and see what happens in sixth grade. So they'll get to see, I, I know I mentioned sixth grade team lead, but I'm also a science teacher. So they'll get to come up and just like stand in the room and see what it looks like in a sixth grade science class and see what it looks like in math. And and watch us transition and go to lunch and like, because now in fifth grade, they walk in a line and all this stuff. And that's going to be different in middle school. So they'll get to just see how different it is, but also how things are kind of the same and hopefully ease a little bit of that anxiety that I'm sure some of these kids are feeling. And then in February, we'll also be having a panel of sixth grade students and teachers who will be there to um, answer kids' questions because we're sure they have a lot of them. Um, so they'll be meeting during fifth grade lunch and recess down in the secondary commons to just um, ask their questions and get out um, even, even more of those anxieties or things that they're just wondering because kids have a lot of wonderings and we're really yeah. excited about that. And then in March, the school counselors, so bro both Bryce and Devin, will meet with the fifth graders and they'll talk about scheduling. Um, that's one of the primary roles of school counselors is to help with academic support and get their schedules all sorted out. And that's something that fifth graders haven't had to work through yet, right? They kind of get told what to do um, in elementary school, but in secondary school, they have different periods and sometimes they'll have choices about which classes they would like to take and there's electives and math happens, you know, different maybe than a science class. And so they're all of that type of stuff. The school counselors will meet with the fifth graders and talk to them about. And then um, March and April, we are thinking about doing some tours outside of the learning community. So what Sarah was talking about is when um, four or five will come and visit sixth grade within the learning community. But there's actually lots of other places that kids go as sixth graders. We were actually talking the other day, one of the sixth graders said, where's the gym? And it was, it was January, you know, and they didn't know where the gym was. And so making sure that they also know there's all of these other places on campus, performing arts, there's an engineering area, the computer science area, entrepreneurship where blueprint happens, lots of club areas. So we'll do a big tour for them too. So they just get they just get to know what's what's all around campus because right now they probably know the elementary building and that's it. Um, and then in May, that's when we will have our famous creek across the creek, oh, creek cross the creek ceremony. And we will tell uh, you about all of that and more details about that will be coming. And then last on this list is something we're really excited about that we have done in years past and then COVID happened and we weren't able to do it for a while, but we're bringing it back. We are having our sixth grade orientation camp um, at the end of the summer where we will bring the kids actually onto campus and we'll get to do all kinds of fun things with them, a little bit of team building and getting to know you activities with the kids because a bunch of new kids come in in sixth grade too. 
and we'll do something like scavenger hunts to help them get to know campus a little bit better and um, to help them get to know their teachers and things. So we're we're really excited about having this time back on campus with the kids before all of the other big kids come back to school. So we get this time just to ourselves at the end of summer. So yeah, we're, we're excited. I, I love that orientation camp. All right. So we were just talking about a student series. So now here's a parent series. So we want to make sure that we keep you all in the know too, because many times your students will be engaging all of this, but you want to know about it too. So um, January, right now, we're doing this parent webinar to talk to you about Peak Across the Creek. And then in March, we're going to do another webinar and we're going to invite you to that webinar. Um, and we'll do sixth grade on ramps and staying connected. So there's lots of things to know as a parent um, about Canvas. And I mean, we could go on and on and when we will in the webinar. So please make sure you come to that. We'll get a, a specific date out to you soon. And then in May, of course, you'll be invited to the Cross the Creek ceremony. All right. Okay. So save the dates. We've we've talked a lot about a lot of things here. Um, on your calendar, you'll want to make sure that you save May 24th from 8.30 to 10.30. You'll come to PK, and that's when Cross the Creek will happen, um, and that'll be the ceremony. Um, and then, uh, Sarah, you want to touch base on the orientation one more time? Yep. The orientation will be the either the very end of July or the beginning of August, um, and it will be on campus. So we will be inviting kids actually to be on campus during that time. Um, it won't be virtual. So please plan to be here for that time. Thank yeah. you. And we'll get you all more of the details and everything about it soon. And if you want to make sure you tell everybody about these webinars, uh, Miss Eubanks is going to send all of this stuff out. She's amazing with that. She'll It'll be in your email and then it'll live on the website too if you want to refer back to it. All right. Thanks for coming to our webinar. Thank you very much.